Hello Space Room, my name is Jared Ward, I'm a pilot with Air Canada, and it's my pleasure today to give you a tour of the flight deck of a Boeing 787 Dreamliner. It is the middle of the night, somewhere over the North Pacific Ocean, we're just coming up on the Alaska Panhandle, we're right about here right now, I'm just going to show you around our flight deck. Let's we'll start right in front of me here, this is the PFD, it's our primary flight display. Starting up in the top left-hand corner, it gives us useful information like how fast we're going. We're doing Mach decimal 86, that's 86% of the speed of sound. We're level at 39,000 feet above sea level, or flight level 390. Over here is our multifunction display. Right now I've got the navigation display up, but I can switch between all kinds of neat stuff. So I hit this system button, and then I can toggle through the electrical system. Everything's green. Green is good. If something's not working, then it'll be orange or red. There's our hydraulic system, our fuel system, our air conditioning system and pressurization. Doors. This one's important. Tells us that the lab is vacant. Landing gear. Flight controls. Our displays and our circuit breakers. And then she jumps right back to the navigation display. Coming further across, so you can see it in the dark, that's the gear selector handle. And then down here, this is typically where we display the FMS, flight management system. It's where we program in fuel, weight balance, or navigational waypoints. Right now I've also got uh, traffic display here because we're in a little bit of a race with Delta Airlines Flight 26. They're 3.2 nautical miles ahead of us, but we're gaining on them. You know, and we've been slowly chipping away at their lead all night. Coming further down here, we've got the thrust levers. This controls how fast we go. They even have a little reverse switch. Yes, we can reverse, not in the air, but on the ground. This is the speed brakes pull this up and a couple of big boards come up on the wing that help us to slow down. There's the flap selector. Down here to the fuel control switch. That's how we turn the engines on and off with our radio panels. If we come on up here, we're going to move up here. This is the autopilot control panel here. We can in cruise fly the airplane just about entirely from here. So again, our speed, I could dial that down, we're at 8.4 if we want to go a little faster. Now we're going to go up to Mach Decimal 8.5. This is our heading bug right here. Right now the airplane's flying in navigation mode, so this is just a handy reference switch. It's not controlling our direction of flight and our altitude. Again, we're sitting up here level at 39,000 feet. Now this is pretty cool. One of the great things about long haul flying is we get to take some pretty sweet breaks. And up in the roof of the airplane, we've got these two beds. Um, three and a half hours now to take myself a little nap before we get to Vancouver. All the bedding is over here on this seat, so I can make myself up a nice, cozy rest area. Hope you guys have enjoyed our tour here. I'm going to take my break now, and I'll see you at Top of Descent. Approaching minimums. Two hundred minimums. One hundred fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. <laughs> 